Jason Stevenson, skills editor at Backpacker Magazine. Today we're going to be talking about repairing snowshoes. Because let's face it, a tough trail can do them a lot of damage. And if your snowshoe breaks when you're out on the trail, you could be stranded if you don't know how to repair it. So first we're going to look at some common items that you can have around your house or perhaps bring with you in your pack to help repair snowshoes. Probably the most important item you can bring, and you should probably have anyway, would be a multi-tool like this one. The pliers, the knives, and the screwdrivers inside can give you a lot of mechanical advantage in any repair you need to make. Plus, it's extremely helpful when it's cold outside and your fingers aren't working as well as they might. Another item that you might be surprised about would be a hose clamp like this one that you can find at any hardware store. Now, a hose clamp is normally used for plumbing, but in this case, you can use it to repair a fracture and the aluminum frame, like in this Atlas snowshoe. Now, a frame could fracture and uh, be causing you some problems. One way you could fix it would be to attach the hose clamp there. This could do the trick as you uh, ratchet it down, but in case it doesn't, a good way to fix it would be just like you're splinting a broken arm or leg. Put a couple tent snakes through there, use two or three hose clamps, ratchet them down, and you should be good to go. So that's one way to repair a broken frame in a snowshoe. Now another thing you should probably have with you, and boy I don't leave home without it, is a little bit of duct tape. Duct tape, uh, the universal solvent almost, can be used for repairing some of the bindings on a snowshoe, like this uh, webbing up here to attach your boot to the, to, the, uh, to the top of the snowshoe, as well as for rips and tears in the decking. Now in case you have a serious rip and tear, another item that I recommend would be a, uh, a tent repair patch, like this nylon tent repair patch. If you just do uh, clean off uh, the area around where the rip or tear might appear in the decking, apply the patch with the glue, and uh, that'll prevent any type of rip or tear from getting bigger and perhaps compromising the flotation of, uh, of your snowshoe, especially in deep powder. Now something that you could also bring in just about any backpacking trip you take would be these, one of these handy zip ties. I got uh, these um, at Home Depot in the electrical aisle for a couple bucks for a pack of 50. And uh, these zip ties can be used for repairing just about anything, um, from parts of your pack, to the bindings of a snowshoe, to even some of the decking and how it's attached to the frame. For instance, let's say uh, this rivet here were to pop on the back of the snowshoe, hit a bad rock and it just punches right through. Well, one way you could repair it would be to take uh, one of these zip ties, put it through the hole where the rivet used to be, attach it around the frame and cinch it down. It'd be good to go for at least a couple more miles and might get you home or back to your car. So these plastic zip ties, boy, I just can't talk enough about them. Um, weight next to nothing and uh, always good to pack and very useful um, for all of your outdoor gear. Now another good thing to bring would be some extra webbing. And in fact, you probably already have it attached to your backpack. And this webbing you could take off of a compression strap or perhaps one of the gear loops on the back of your pack and it could be used to help repair a broken piece of uh, the binding that helps attach your boot here. These things I find tend to break most often. Um, they come under a lot of abuse. Uh, you got your boot pulling on them. You got them going side to side, depending on what type of trail you're on. And some extra binding material and extra webbing can help do a, a jury rig here to uh, get your boot back into the binding and, and keep going on. You could combine the webbing, of course, with some zip ties as well to really make it work. Now, another common failing point on a snowshoe would be the pivot. In this case, on this Atlas snowshoe, you've got uh, a soft pivot, which is actually a heavy-duty band. Notice how it rotates here with each step that you would take. Now, if one of these, bind one of these uh, pivots, one of these bands were to break, you'd be in a sore bit of trouble. Um, but you could repair it, perhaps with some extra webbing or uh, one of these plastic uh, zip ties as well. Maybe get something going that can get you at least a couple more miles. Now, in addition to the soft pivot in that, uh, that Atlas snowshoe, you sometimes also have what's known as a hard pivot. In this case, it's an MSR snowshoe that has uh, two pins here that attach the crampon and the binding to the rest of the frame. Now, if one of these pins were to break or to fall out, you could possibly replace it with one of these plastic zip ties or something else that you probably already have with you and don't even realize it would be on your key ring. In this case, it would be a, a simple metal key ring chain you could attach right there through in place of the pin, and that could probably keep you going at least for a little while as well. Probably have this on your keychain and never realized how useful it could be. So there we have it. A couple of common items that you can have uh, with you in your pack or around your house to help repair snowshoes, and those common breaking points on snowshoes too.